Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. This is your Quilt As You Go series and in this tutorial I'll teach you flower applique patterns for blocks 5 and 6. If you are interested in doing this series, there will be a link below your YouTube screen for blocks 1 and 2. In that tutorial, all of the supplies that you will need will be listed. So now let's get started. Sometimes if you're still a little confused about what your block is going to look like, sometimes it helps to sketch it out so you get an idea of how you want to place it. And here's two different sketches that I did. This was the first one. I decided on my colors and then I drew another one and I made sure it was in my eight and a half inch square area. So now I'm going to show you how to draw this one. These are really easy to draw. So you're drawing three squares, but they're all a different size. Again, you can change the measurements, make it larger or smaller, or maybe even have more squares if you like. So this is the two inch square, one and three quarter inch square, and one and a half inch square. And remember, you're drawing it on the blue grid line side of the paper. Now you're gonna need three circles for the center of the flower. This is about a half inch circle. You can freehand draw these. They don't need to be a perfect circle. And then I do two more that were a little smaller. So remember, after you draw them on the blue grid line side of your fusible web, you remove the plain paper off the back and then make sure that you place all of your applique pieces or your fusible web on the back side of the fabric, the not so pretty side. After you've placed the squares and the circles on the back side of the fabric, finger press it down and then go ahead and cut it out. Then remove the blue grid line paper and then place your squares wherever you want them. This is my largest one, the medium one, and then the smaller one. Now let me show you how I drew the stem. All right, now here's one that's completed. So I first drew the stem, the longest stem, from the larger square up here and drew it in just one curve. Then on the medium size square, I drew another stem up here and then one down here towards the smaller square and then two leaves. Then you're gonna go to your ironing board and just fuse everything on following package instructions. Before you do your applique satin stitch, make sure you put paper behind your block. Again, remember, this helps to prevent the fabric from puckering while you stitch. So do your largest stem first using a large satin stitch, then the two smaller stems using a medium satin stitch. And then on your leaves, use a small narrow satin stitch. On your squares, I used a medium satin stitch. And on the little circles, I used a narrow satin stitch. Now, if I haven't mentioned to you before in some of the previous tutorials, after your satin stitches are done, you're gonna remove the paper off the back and it just comes off real easy. Then do your layering. You're going to put the fabric for the back, back side up, cotton batting, and then your flower block. Pin everything together and then do your quilting stitches. Refer to the, number, the first block tutorial one and two for how to do quilting stitches. Now let's work on block number six. Now here's a very rough sketch of what I drew. And on this one, I decided to try the templates, drawing these heart shapes. And I used about a medium size heart template and then one of the smaller ones. And I drew two of those, but I wasn't sure if I liked it. So you can use the templates or freehand draw any of your heart shapes. So let me show you what I did. So I decided to freehand draw three heart shapes and you can see they're misshapen. I did it that way on purpose because I thought it would be more interesting. So I tried to draw a large one 
a medium one, and a smaller one. Now here is the fabric that I'm going to use for the hearts. It doesn't really have a front and back. They both look exactly the same. So go ahead and cut your hearts out, leaving about a quarter of an inch uh, area outside of those drawn lines. Remove the paper off of the back. Place it on your fabric. If your fabric does have a difference in front and back, make sure you put it on the not so pretty side. Finger press it down and then cut them out. Then place them. Remove the grid line side of the paper. Place it on your background fabric and just put them any which way. My largest one is up here, but these other two are kind of similar in size but always kind of set it at different levels. It makes it more interesting. On here, I just did one simple curve line for the main stem and two flowers with a little vein going through it. Once you've got it laid out the way you like it, go ahead and fuse your hearts on. Now this is one that I've already done and I decided on this one to do a squiggly line. Remember, one curved line is fine, and I only did one leaf. Remember, this is your block. You can do anything you want. So again, the stitching order has, is the same on this block as it has been on previous blocks. Do your largest stem first, and then if you have any smaller stems, you do that second. So I use the wide uh, satin stitch. On the shorter stems, I used a medium width satin stitch, leaf narrow. And then I did a medium width satin stitch around all of the hearts. Now make sure before you do those satin stitches, put paper behind it. And if you're just now watching my quilt series right now in this tutorial and you're not sure what a satin stitch is, I'll have a link below your YouTube screen that will take you to the very first tutorial for blocks one and two. And in there, I talk all about the satin stitches and how to set your machine. So now that all of this is done, do your layering like you've done in the previous blocks, pin it all together, and then do whatever quilting stitch pattern you have decided on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you decide to do this quilt series. Remember, go to the very first uh, tutorial on this if you're just getting started and you want to see all the previous flowers. All the information you need to do this series is listed in that tutorial. Also below your YouTube screen, you're going to see links to other beginner sewing projects if you're interested in doing that. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.